Hey guys, Sean here at K2 Trades. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up trading view for optimal use um, when using the K2 proprietary trading strategy. So for our strategy we use three indicators. We use the K2 trading strategy indicator, the Ichimoku indicator, and the pivot points high low indicator. For the K2 trading strategy indicator, um, in order to add this to your chart, you'll go to indicators, uh, invite only scripts and then click on the indicator. Let me show you how it looks on the screen. So your chart will most likely not look empty like this. Um, you'll click on indicators up here, click on invite only scripts, and then click on the K2 uh, trading indicator right here. And there you go, it's on the screen. So next we add the Ichimoku indicator. Uh, to add this, you'll go to Indicators, search Ichimoku, and then remove the Conversion Line, Baseline, and Laggy Span since we don't use those for this strategy. So you'll click on Indicators, go to the search bar, type in Ichimoku, click on Ichimoku Cloud, and then you'll go to Settings right here. And then you'll uncheck Conversion Line, Baseline, and Laggy Span since we don't use those. There you go, you got the cloud on the screen. Next, you'll add the pivot points high low indicator. Uh, it's the same process. You'll go to indicators and search pivot point high low. So you go to indicators and then search pivot point, and it should be right there. So click on that, and there you go. The pivot points high, uh, the pivot high lows will be uh, plotted on the screen. So it's right here. Low, high, low, high. Pretty self-explanatory. And next, uh, so that's as far as you'll go with a free basic account. Since you only have one screen, you won't be able to add any other ones. Uh, but if you do upgrade to a Pro Plus, uh, which I highly recommend, you will, uh, in order to add multiple charts, you'll click on the top screens uh, where it has the charts. You'll choose four screens, and then you'll set the time frames for each chart. And then you'll enable symbol, crosshair, time, and drawing since, so that uh, that way all the screens will be synced. So to do that, this is the uh, charts layout right here. So you'll click on this and then click on the four screens. And then there you go, you'll have four screens up. So uh, mine's already set up because I, I use this normally, but uh, it, it probably won't have these same time frames on here. So you'll click on this and then you'll enable symbol, crosshair, time and drawings. And then, um, so th that way the screen will move no matter where you're, you're looking. So if you're looking on the 30 minute, uh, it'll follow on the one hour, two hour, and four hour. So uh, you'll click on this, and then if you want to change the time frame, you'll click here, change the time frame. Same with this, same thing, same thing all around. And yeah, once you have that set up, uh, you'll be ready to go, and you can start trading. So I hope this helps, guys. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please like, comment, and share uh, this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when you post our next video. Alright guys, till next time.